everyone. God bless you. God bless you all as always. Welcome to another daily devotion. Sister Peggy is my name from the First Church of the Open Bible. Today I want to deal with a slightly difficult topic. And the topic today is the fear of the Lord. In society, we can just listen to the headlines and we have an understanding that the fear of the Lord is absent in the lives of so, 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 so many. And we as the church, we are the ones that are called to uphold the standards of Christianity. We are the ones that are called to walk in the fear of the Lord. The word of the Lord in Isaiah 33 and 6 says, He will be the sure foundation for your times, a rich store of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. And the fear of the Lord is the key to this treasure. We have a treasure the presence of the Holy Spirit. We have his, his word that guarantees to us that he will be a rich store of salvation and wisdom. He will save us and he will empower us with the wisdom we need to live successful lives. And how do we accomplish this? By walking in the fear of the Lord. What is the fear of the Lord? The fear of the Lord is an understanding that we live in his presence. He sees all and he knows all things concerning us. Not only does he see, but he's also a judge. And this great judge, he's going to just judge our words, our motives, our thoughts. He's going to judge our actions. And we desire to live in harmony with him. I want to please God. I want to be, hallelujah, who he has created me to be. That is the fear of the Lord. Again, that is very absent at times. I want to read for us because sometimes we create a God in our hearts that really doesn't exist. God has two sides. The Bible calls him great, but the Bible also calls our God terrible. He's great to the people that love him, to his people. He loves us, but he's also a terrible God. He executes judgment upon the wicked, and we do not want to fall in that category of the wicked. Hear the word of the Lord in the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, the first chapter. It says, I called you so often, but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice and rejected my correction or the correction I offered. So I will laugh when you are in trouble. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. Oh, this great, wonderful, loving God, is this his word? It absolutely is. And it goes on. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster engulfs you like a cyclone and anguish and distress overwhelms you. When they cry for help, I will not answer. Though they anxiously search for me, they will not find me. Why? For they hated knowledge and chose not to fear the Lord. Listen. Hallelujah. I want us to understand that we are living in, in terrible times. I want us to understand that God's eyes are upon us and God expects certain things from us. Obedience to the word of the Lord, obedience to the will of the Lord, obedience to the prompting of the Holy Spirit is the only outward display of the fear of the Lord that we carry on the inside. I pray for us today that we would really let this word be a sobering word for us. Let's take it to heart. Let's really analyze our thoughts, our words, our motives. Let us ensure that we are walking in the fear of the Lord. God bless you all.